What's up, Nail Geeks? Next up for today's agenda on posts is Glam Polish's newest set. This is the Frog Prince Collection, inspired by the Princess and the Frog. I have five of the ten shades to show you all, and if you are Krelly lovers, then you're definitely going to want to pick up a few of these. So let's dive right in. First up is Good Things Are Sure To Come Your Way. This is a teal Krelly with neon pink glitter and gold flakies. So in the past when I have seen Glam's little gold flakes that she uses in some of her polishes, I really love them. They're very metallic-like and they look very like jewel-like. So this one is very heavily scattered with them and you'll get a really nice buildup of those. Now those pink glitters, um, they are what I would consider kind of like matte type of glitters. So while they don't give a whole lot of problems in terms of texture, it does make this one dry down quite a bit on the thirsty side for top coat. Now this is very much a Crelly like formula, so you'll get that nice pond effect in between your coats, meaning you'll see your glitters and your flakes in between your layers. On this one, I'm gonna suggest three coats for opacity on it, and you'll get that really nice buildup and that base color really starts to come out um, and just pop like crazy. So you'll see here in between my layers, you can kind of get an idea for um, just how matte-ish and thirsty that it comes off. So I went in with one of my goopier top coats and it really smoothed everything out. And next is Magic in the Air. This is a light blue Crelly with shifting iridescent flakies and neon pink glitter. So this one is um, really, really interesting. I'm really digging the color combo between the glitters and that base color. So I do agree, it's definitely a nice light blue. I personally think that and when you build it up, it has just the slightest bit of a periwinkle lean to it. And on this one, I'm also gonna suggest three coats for full opacity. And you'll see here in just a moment, this one dries down pretty similar to that first one in that it is a bit thirsty for top coat. So again, you'll wanna go in with two coats of a normal top coat or bust out one of those somewhat thicker top coats that um, really help with smooth, smoothing glitters out. Third coat here, I'm really getting perfect opacity at this point. Um, I would suggest going in medium to thin on your coats. These do build up very well, so I don't think that there's a need to go in really heavy on your coats and you'll get a really nice scattering of the glitters and all the good stuff um, in each of your layers. And next is Almost There. This is a bright yellow curly with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Hollow Glitter. This is so pretty. I really like very bright yellows like this. Um, I do think that this one is more of a true type of yellow. Now I want to note that the formula on this one is a bit less creamy and more jelly-like in that as you build it up, I think if you have a prominent free edge like myself, you're still gonna see quite a bit of your smile line. So. If that bothers you, I would suggest going in with um, some type of color correcting base color as your base coat. So um, I personally favor using the OPI Nail Envy Tinted formulas, and I think those cover up visible nail line really well. So this one also dries down quite a bit on the flat side. So to really exploit that Aurora Shimmer, I'm going to suggest a really glossy top coat here too. Now the holographic glitter in this one is a very fine particle, so you get that nice, very scattered, twinkling-like effect. That shimmer is very strong. Um, I feel like it kind of takes a little bit of a backseat to the yellow color here, so um, you'll get just a bit of a subtleish type of orange cast from that shimmer. And next is Dig a Little Deeper. This is a pink Crelly with purple metallic glitter and gold flakies. So this one we see the reappearance of those awesome little gold flecks once again. Um, I really like them. I think this those would make a really cool topper as well um, as they just really pop over those base colors. So this one is what I would consider a medium type of almost bubblegum like pink. I feel like in person there is just a bit of a purplish tint to this type of pink. I do feel like the video is behaving decently well for a color on this one. And once again, dig a little deeper, also dries down quite a bit on the flat and thirsty side. So again, I'd recommend a good glossy top coat. Now for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats and I think it plumps out really nice and you'll get that super crazy dense scatter of um, those glitters and the flakes. So here on the third coat, you can see um, really nice formula overall. I would think that most are going to be just fine at three 
thin to normal coats for each one. And lastly, we have I Got Voodoo, I Got Hoodoo. This is a boysenberry jelly with Aurora Shimmer and Purple Metallic Glitter. I really feel like Glam just owns these types of purpley glowish type of shades. Now this one does have what I think to be a true jelly-like formula, which is um, definitely agreeing with the official description. For this one, I'm also gonna suggest three coats on it just to really build up that shimmer and get it nice and glowy on your nails. Now this one also dries down quite a bit on the flat and thirsty side, just like the others, but I do feel like because the glitters are on the somewhat heavier side, like they're very apparent when you apply them, I was very impressed that, you know, per usual, I give my bottles a good shake before applying and I got a really good mix of them on the brushes. So for all of the Crellies in this collection, I don't see any need to, you know, fish or careful placement. Just apply like normal and you'll get a really good mix on your nails. So here you can see I've got really nice buildup happening and that shimmer is just very, very strong on this one in person. And going in with that glossy top coat, it just helps it pop so much more and it smooths everything out. That final shot, I think, is being color accurate to what I'm seeing in person and really, really flattering type of purple. Now, these will release July 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Glam's website. I'll link you guys below to that. And for the first 72 hours, you'll save 5% off all individual shades in the store with the code ANGEL5 or 10% off all full collections in the store with the code ANGEL10. I'll break all of this down below in the description box. And I'll also link you to Glam's Facebook group if you want to check out the other five polishes in the collection. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.